Visit abbaeservices.com for fast medical transcription service. This podcast episode is brought to you by AB Music Creative. This episode is brought to you by Dr. Lourdes Capolong. You've done stuff for yourself. You have your podcast. Mm-hmm. You've written a book. Mm-hmm. How many? I have been featured in two other books. Like this is a combination, a uh, co- or collection of short stories. Mm. I've also. What's the title of the book? Uh, one of them is unscripted, or both of them are unscripted. One and two. It's mm. it's stories of women in business telling their stories. You know, um, of victory i guess or struggles um and then my very first book i wouldn't even try to sell it now it was my very first attempt but it was like 11 secrets to a successful event because that's what i do i'm an event producer right um back then and i i think back then was when yeah i was trying to remember i think it was 2011 Mm. i literally wrote it and learned how to publish it myself on Amazon, but those were like the early days, right? <laughs> yeah. So, um, but if you find it on Amazon, you can support it. It's probably a couple bucks. Why don't Why don't you do another edition? I am actually in the process of writing a book about communication because I think just in life experiences that I've had at work with friends, I'm typically the go-to person of like, what do I say? Or what do I do in this situation? And then I've noticed that whatever advice I've given them, it's always an aha moment. And I'm like, okay, maybe I have a knack for this. So my book right now, um, I'm working on it. Uh, And then even at work, um, I, I worked at shopping centers and shopping centers are owned by owners <laughs> so when they come <laughs> i'm no like way. no way no because like either they're privately owned right. or they're back into the hands of the bank mm. m- mortgage people but they come off the, they they visit at the mall and they they want to hear what you know what we're doing marketing wise um and then in my in my recent shopping center it was a common compliment that they love how i presented and the, the owners are actually from Israel. So I feel like there's something to do with me being a Filipino, speaking a different language, and they speak a different language. And I sometimes can tell my counterparts who don't speak another language are not thinking of that barrier. Yes. So it's like I get to, okay, I have to speak slower, use much simpler language so we can all be on the same page. And I'm in marketing, so it's kind of like a dog and pony show. Like, you have to put on a show. Because if you're not, if you can't put on a show, then why are you in marketing? So you have to make it look good. Um, and then, you know, they they have 11 centers, and we're always the last stop, and they always find us our favorite. So, I mean, that's one reason why I think that I have a knack for communicating and um, also being courageous. Like, if there's like uncomfortable moments, you still have to communicate and can't be passive about things. So uh, my book is about communication um, and it's the working title right now is Get Heard. Get Heard. Mm -hmm. When you write books, Mm -hmm. like this this book, Get Heard, now that you're writing it, where do you draw inspiration aside from the fact that you're in marketing, you're Mm -hmm. doing all of this, there has to be an inner fire that you draw inspiration from or an outside source. Outside source. Okay. So I mm. feel like people love to tell me their secrets. I'm not going to tell their secrets in the book, but people love to confine in me and people love to tell me their problems and things. But that also gives me a lot of content and context and lessons that I can turn into something for my book um so yeah a lot of people come to me for advice or for just anything and then i think that helps me like conclude certain lessons in life including my own 